Alrighty, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to episode 29 of Hack Attack. Tom's off taking a quick break, and by quick break, we mean laughing at my chess. It's been a little while now. I've been more or less out for about a month now, <coughs> so things could get a little bit rusty coming back. We're going to try um, a couple of new things in this interesting game we've got here. It's called chess. Generally speaking, you try and run the opposition out of time, and if it just so happens that you manage to play a couple of good moves on the way, then that's absolutely fine. So we're going to play a three-minute game against GM Schmidt from South Africa. Uh, and Tom's going to dictate my first couple of moves after I play C5. Okay. Uh, okay, we, what you're going to do is you're going to play D5 here, John. Why did I think you were going to say that? And you're going to try the uh, Bishop F5 variation. So no, no, not straight away. You're going to take... What? Queen takes Knight C6 Okay. Bishop F5. All right. There we go. Uh, normally knight c6 first. Knight c6 first. Sorry. Get me up to bishop f5 and I'll take it from there. Yeah. This this might be vaguely theory, but if it is, I know nothing about it. Uh, yeah, just play it here. Okay. This will be interesting. All right. I'm on my own here now. Obviously, if he takes the... Whoa. That's annoying. Okay. Um, I feel like he's loosening a lot of these squares. There must be a way to take advantage of it. Uh, well, this was quick. I'm going to play Queen E4 and see what he does. The, this is probably all theory, and Tom's probably done it a thousand times before, but it also doesn't matter because I am in the process of... Wait, what's going on here? I'm pretty sure this is all right. This looks pretty strong. I've got a lot of pieces attacking that square, and I think I can first get away with a quick little check. Um, or oh, or can I? Have I just lost my knight? I might have just lost my knight. No, I haven't lost my knight. It's defended by the bishop. I might be okay. Uh, this is what happens when you don't think before you move. Where am I going now? Right. Uh, he's not going to take the knight. He wants to try and get rid of the bishop. He can't at the moment. That pawn's on pre. My position looks messy. I've got no idea what's going on. I play queen back to e5. Is that even, uh... No, I can't take on f2 either. If I play the queen out to h4, he just plays the knight up. The bishop's defending that. What have I gotten myself into? Um, naturally, this is all Tom's fault. Uh, where the heck am I going? This is really, really weird. Um, okay, well, I've got to play a move. I've got a minute 29 left, and I'm, uh, I, I'm very much in screw it, let's do it kind of mode now. Um, so I'm going to retreat the queen all the way back to c7, which looks like a vaguely sensible square, and I'm going to attempt not to die a horrible, horrible death. Unfortunately, that might not be possible since none of my pieces are developed anywhere whatsoever. But his king is in the middle. His king is... Whoa! Hang on there, mate. <clears throat> you do not get free passes here. I might even go queenside. Like a rebel. No, I'm not going to go queenside like a rebel. That sounds like a terrible idea. All right, he's bringing the knight back. Okay, now I can finally get to... Why do I want to get some pieces out? I've got a rook! Who cares about anything else in your position when you have material to speak of? Everything is fine. Rainbows, unicorns, butterflies, all of the above. We are looking fine and dandy. Possibly because my opponent didn't finish me off when he could have. Now, I am about... Uh, a yes amount of time down on the clock right now. So I'm going to go ahead and try and speed things up here. The bishop's coming out to g7. I think it's coming out to g7. I sure hope it's coming out to g7. That pawn on d5 is going to really start annoying me in a sec. If he pushes it to h5, I'm going to be slightly annoyed. Can I get away with playing h5 myself? Maybe, because I've got g4 covered several times. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to go do. Let's see if I can stop that plan of attack of his in its tracks. Wow, are you going this way as well? Seriously? Okay, I'm going to bring a rook out now and threaten to play e6. Uh, don't feel an absolute need to castle yet. You can check me, but all it's going to do is, well, uh, you could play that move. Actually, no, I don't want to do that because he can play d6. I'm going to castle. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
let's go and do it here. What else have we got going in this position? Okay. He's trying to attack me on the light squares. He hasn't got a light squared bishop. It's not something that's worrying me too much at the moment. I think I want to play my queen back to b6. b6, maybe swing it across to f6. Things are looking okay here. If I do that... No, okay, I can stick it on d6 before playing b6 if I desperately wanted to shore up this position. I can always remove the bishop at any time, which actually is beginning to look like the move I should have played. That bishop's actually quite annoying at the moment. My remaining minor pieces are just good. Wait. I've got one to... Oh yeah, that's right, I took a rook. I remember that. Okay, let's go ahead and take that off. c5 is going to feel ever so slightly more comfortable now. And can I get away with playing this now? think the answer is yes. I'm going to pre-move queen takes, Justin. Okay, this guy wants to play hardball, and I don't blame him for it. I'm going to take because I am out of time. Uh, ooh. And where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Too much decision making. Uh, I need to watch out for that. This square here. Let's go ahead and cover that and see if I can't stack my rooks. All right, where are you going now? Wait, hang on a second. I've got nothing to hit the knight with. I can always sack. But, ooh, hello. Uh, potentially dangerous here. What is going on? What is going on? Okay. He just wants to run me out of time, and he might succeed in doing so. So let's go ahead and pre-move the check. Oop. Turns out that wasn't a check. Hey-ho! Uh, I've got f 18 seconds to 43. All right, it's flagging territory. Can he do it? The answer is probably not, but let's give it a go. What, what's going on here? Okay, that's fine. Let's give it a good go. Whoa, here he goes. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Oh, I don't want to do that. He's got a check. He's got a check, and I need to be careful of it. He's 35 seconds. I just had a notification on the right-hand side of my screen saying that I am Thomas Rendell is live. All right, he's given... Okay. Now it's survival mode. I'm playing that against everything. I don't even care. Don't even care. Is he going to push that? Is he going to try and be sneaky because he knows I'm pre-moving? No, he's not. Is he going to be sneaky again? I should just about be able to get away with this now. This is unreal. I've got 4.6 seconds left. I'm waiting for him to push the pawn because he's going to push the pawn. Okay, he's not pushing the pawn. Uh, if I just pre-move all of the things, it should be fine. 3.5, and now I'm thinking things are comfortable. I probably haven't done this in quite the sexiest way imaginable in the name of chess, but I think that is going to do. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how to rescue yourself from the brink of- Oh my god, everyone in the world just challenged me. What is even going on there? Um, I played nothing close to theory in that game. No, right, no we're, I, what I'll try and do is ha take a look at the opening of that game. Okay, that was afterwards. potentially disastrous, but now I've got the white pieces, Tom. I'm going to play e4, but what am I playing afterwards? Um, okay, you're going to go for the four pawns attack against the Alakines. Okay. Can you work out what that is? Uh, I'm guessing it might be moving another pawn, but possibly not before I play e5. Yeah, e5 is the starter. All right. So that's pawn number two. So, what do you think pawn number three might I'm be? I'm guessing it's the A pawn. No. Harry the H pawn? He's, all, he's always, pawn? always a firm favourite. And yeah, there Boom. we go. All right, there four, we go. Four pawns attack from John. Okay. What on earth is this? This is insane. What am I doing? What is life? Help! Uh, what breaks am I looking for here? I'm looking for breaks on the F5 square. It looks like a break on the D5 square is possible here eventually. What am I going for? I don't actually know. Now, if he takes this pawn, which direction am I taking? Th this is one of those fundamental ideas of a position kind of theory things that I don't really know much about. I'm going to play the bishop out to e3, because that just looks like a super solid square for it to be on. Um, Tom, I will ask for your advice on one thing. Am I castling opposite sides of the board? 
Is that generally advisable? Yeah. Well, I've moved the C pawn, so it's, probably not. It's hack attack. It's hack attack. Hey. Uh. Yeah. Go on then. I'm now playing for this f5 break. I think that is pretty clear. Let me just make sure that knight doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Thinking of ways to stop his attack. Can I push? No, I don't want to push. I'm going to go queen side and play bishop d3 and hope that I don't get hacked up quite as quickly. That's probably not the greatest plan in the history of the world, but I'm going to roll with it anyway. <clears throat> I've also just lost a pawn. So, all in all, no, I haven't lost a pawn. Whew! Good he to takes see you're the planning ahead there, John. Yeah, I'm planning ahead for absolutely everything. He takes the pawn. I've got knight takes e6. He probably thinks I'm a genius right now. He doesn't think I'm a genius right now. Um, what other moves could I possibly... Whoa! Here we go. Here comes the cavalry. He wants to expose my king, which frankly seems like a sensible move, so I'd rather he didn't do that. Unfortunately, that leads to... Wait, hang on a second. Can I play knight takes? I can play knight... So he plays knight takes. I play knight takes d5. Okay, he's not going to do that. In which case... Can I shore up? This is getting awfully breezy. I'm going to be honest. I don't like this very much. I think I can shore up. Oh, I can play the knight back to b3, but where's my hack gone? I'm supposed to get g4 in. This is taking way too long. Uh, I'm also... I'm only three seconds down on the clock, and a notification on the right-hand side. I am Thomas Rendell is live. <laughs> no, he isn't. If you think he is, you... Uh, well, don't go look somewhere else. Just be patient. Bear with me for just a little bit. All right. Well, he's sacked something. That means he might win. No, it doesn't. I should be able to hold this now. Um, I'm going to pretend that material is everything and my position is entirely sane. But I actually think when my, once my king gets to b2, he can't really do much. I can park my bishop on d4, make sure that annoying little critter on the dark square there doesn't come into my position. And generally speaking, it should work. I also just realized my opponent's name is Jack. Hi, Jack. How are you? Uh, this. This and possibly bishop b5 and trying to swap everything off. Yes. The world's most sheepish, yes. What's he doing? I'm gonna shore up. I'm gonna absolutely throw every piece in your face until you stop being annoying. I think that's a good move. I think that's a good move. He can't retreat here. I've got the bishop there. So he has to go all the way back. And that finally gives me a move to do what I want. But there is no chance of a hack here. Now I am busy defending forever and a day. Make absolutely no mistake. Right, let's go ahead and bring this knight up and try and swap a couple more pieces off. You've sacked something to get this position. Oh. He's also sacrificed 20 seconds down on the clock. I might just be fine here, actually. I have the potential to get a knight in now. And, oh, hello. Well, he's certainly giving this a good go. Um, I'm going to be honest, that's slightly annoying. Well, let's play that first and ask questions later. <clears throat> that's never a bad idea, right? Pro actually that was probably just kind of poor um, this queen is unbelievably annoying I think that defends everything it does defend everything cool I accidentally a move right now we work out what's going on where uh, no Now you're just being annoying. Now you're just being annoying. Oh, he's got 14 seconds. What am I even doing? Who cares about the chess anymore, guys? We have people to flag. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to draw? You ain't getting one. You ain't getting one. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he might have rook takes. That's okay. Wow, he found a check. Oh, that's pretty powerful stuff. He keeps finding checks. 
Oh, and where are they now? Ooh, they're not there anymore. What happens if I check you? I win on time. Okay. I do recognize that was terrible. But I also have a 2-0 record. And because I have a 2-0 record, and also because the first game might actually be interesting, uh, about how the opening went there, I'm gonna quickly step aside. Can you go- can you go back to- I'm not gonna quickly step aside. Go back well, just, to uh, this mean, game. Can, yeah, yeah, get, get rid of Ooh. this game and then bring up the live analysis board. Get rid of this game. Yeah, yeah. Just, right. just, you can, I think you even just close the window and then you got the- Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Uh... Whereabouts am I going? Uh, just refresh this page. All um, right, let's do that. Sorry, guys, you're seeing something a little bit weird at the moment. 2-0! And yeah, I preserved my 100% record. Oh, they can't... Oh, yeah. oh well. Uh, is it this one? It is this one. View. The problem is it's a little bit skewed on the live analysis board. Uh, click Analyze in Live. Analyze in Live. That's... Where? No. Up, up, up. up. Nice. This guy knows his stuff. Uh, analysis board, extremely useful bit of kit, and it looks like... Uh, I don't know, how do you want to do this, Tom? I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll just go through the opening, and right. <clears throat> we might as well be here for that. Okay, let's do this. So, we start off E4, C5, C3. I'm looking from my opponent's perspective, I'd like to flip it, so you can see what I did, because you don't want to mistake my blunders for those of someone else. And we started with D5, takes... D4, knight c6, bishop e3, bishop f5, and this is where Tom left me alone. Uh, my opponent then played c4, and as soon as Tom left me alone, I was completely stumped. I considered queen d8 here to pop back to a5, but that I'm guessing that's a bit passive. See, the, mi the mistake that you made in this position was you, you started talking about the opponent's weaknesses on c2 here, which, which is good to notice, but you played queen e4 without really considering what your opponent's next move would be. And your opponent's next move after queen e4 should just have been knight, e, uh, knight c3. If we take a look at queen e4 on the board, which is what happened. And then, yeah, you've just given him a tempo for absolutely nothing. Um, oh yeah, that's, there's no yeah. real point to doing and, that anymore, is there? In fact, your queen's probably going over to h4, and then what? what's he following up with after queen h4? Uh, guessing knight f3 looks decent. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I look like I'm a couple of tempi behind. Yeah, so you, I mean, there is a reason you don't bring your queen out too early on. You told conditions. me to take it! Yeah, but then don't put it on e4. D do as I say, do, not as I do. do. Just put it back on d7 here. Because then, then if they go d5, you're, you've still got this knight. And what's right wrong? Here. Um, what about what about going back to d8, eyeing up this now that the c4, now that the c pawn is moved? A5 is just a check. It's not such a big deal. I'd rather put it on d7 and allow my rook to. Well, come to a d8. combination of a5 and being able to take on d4, i.e., not blocking with the knight, has to be considered, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it, queen d8 is an awful lot better than queen e4. Fair enough. Okay. Um. Actually, I thought the second game he played really well, but uh, just carrying on a little bit longer with this game. All right. Uh, uh, that, I don't know. To be wait, honest, I think you just. I think you you just win one in exchange. Uh, I think so. Yeah, D5, so it's D five there, there, and then, night, up, and, night up. And white does the same thing and not really pay attention to what black's doing here. I I, I wasn't actually hundred percent sure after knight c three. I am starting to get a bit short on squares with the queen there. Yeah. It's not um it's not looking that healthy. No. But obviously he's in a world of hurt as well. And this is kind of the part where I went, well hang on a second. I'm not sure I like my position, but his king is in the middle. Mm. And if I swap things off and prolong it into a not very hack attacky long game, it should just be okay. Alright, should we go ahead and take a look at the second game? Um, or was there something else that... Was there a moment here that... Oh, well, of course, knight b5 was just a blunder. Again, yeah. it, it's kind of the same mistake, but from your opponent this time around. Mm. He plays an aggressive move and doesn't really consider the, the reply. Uh, no, I, I, I'm kind of happy to, to leave it there. I mean, okay. the, the second game you played actually very, very well. Really? Uh, there were moments when you went into full defensive mode when you could still have been going for the attack. Okay, that's actually quite interesting. Um, and uh, it was worth knowing that you're always trying to play f5 when you could have considered going h4, h5 as well. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at this then. Because I actually thought after a certain point that, ooh, hang on a second, I actually think I need, I just need to defend here. But the attack looked like it was just completely fizzling out. So, four pawns attack, 
and Tom left me here. Knight f3 looks vaguely sensible. D6, not really wanting to capture here. There's just yeah, no good it, reason it, for it. Yeah, it's all fine. Knight c3, bishop g7, bishop e3. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, this would be my expert Czech Benoni knowledge coming into play here. Yeah. <laughs> See, Castles. for example, you could even go h4 in this position. It's much, much simpler to attack this way. You go h4, okay. you put a bishop on d3, and... Uh, oh, I just tried to put an arrow on here, and holding alt doesn't work. I forgot what the command is. Uh, maybe shift. Right click? Right click. Right yeah, click, yeah. there we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. And instead I went queen c2. This was when I asked you which side of the board I was going to castle on, I remember now. Yeah, but it's, uh, you should just be doing very, very well uh, the way things turned uh, out. A6. Is a3 a bit of a wasted move, or is it just fine to keep his knight on an awkward square? I didn't think he was going it, anywhere. It, it's all right. It's probably okay. not completely necessary, but... Uh, but c5 and then castle's queen side was excellent. Okay. Um, he takes. And then maybe I should have retaken with the bishop. Or well, we, even. Oh no no. Even we the, even, this. even the rook as well. I mean, well, to be honest, um, no, probably probably you should take with the bishop. Mm. I took with the knight, and then he ended up playing d5. Yeah, and c5. It's strange. You were talking about the fact you blundered a pawn, but c5. What were you going to do against knight takes c5 again? Because you started analysing knight takes c5. Knight takes d5, and then fortunately your opponent moved before you had to go analyze it any further. But uh, uh, I'm guessing you had something big planned for when he went queen takes. And um, yeah, it was possibly uh, look at the clock and see if I could flag him. I think at that point. Well, I mean, you have knight f5 <laughs> yeah, in, this, posi in this position, and it the whole thing is very, very complicated. It's just like, what? Yeah. Okay. This is. Wow, this kind of hurts my head. Although the queen can't go back to a square where it defends e7. Well, I'm more worried about the knight on c5 as well. Well, well yeah, but I obviously just... to prevent my knight from being taken, I play the check first. Because yeah. his queen can't get to a square where my knight can be captured, and then I can take the knight on c5 safely. The queen has surprisingly few good squares in actual fact. Here. Wow. Uh, yeah, I didn't even come close to seeing this position. This looks pretty cool. I was mainly looking for squares for this bishop to work out where on earth it was going to. Yeah, I think I think black can survive with knight b3 check, uh, king b1, and then queen a5. Uh, oh my but, goodness. But, but white, white has to be a lot better with either knight e7 check or just knight takes g7. Well then... I mean then... Okay, but remember this is only regaining the piece. Yes. So now this... And this knight actually has no retreat squares. Yeah, this is why I felt knight takes g7. Oh, uh, th there's possibilities of f5 here. Yeah. Right? Or even h4, h5 and using it that way. If I can if I can be fast enough that the knight just doesn't become mincemeat somewhere. But but yeah. To be honest, uh, in the game, um, he played knight d7 and once you went b4... Here we go. Then his, his only line was to really try this peace sacrifice at some point. B4 and felt like it made my king get a bit airy, but it... It was fine to shore up the position, His right? pieces are so bad that it's really not that much of a big deal. I just wanted to make sure I had a response to b6, and I thought I might have been able to get away with knight d6. You can, uh, even, knight c6, you can always just go just c6 fine. and keep it closed. Okay. All right. So that's all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, and then he sacked and yeah, yeah. the this, rest is... This should be, I mean, even here you consider, can consider going king b2 and h4, h5. But you played it very safe and, and you won fairly comfortably. Although, you know, it got a little bit crazy towards the end. <laughs> but that, that's just three minutes. Chance. Yeah, that's what three minutes does to you. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. Tom will be back in just a moment for the second half of Hack Attack. Let us know what your feedback has been, by the way, on this middle segment. Because I know sometimes I just show up, I play a couple of games, I lose a couple of pieces, hang a couple of queens, and... Uh, generally for your entertainment today obviously we did something a little bit different make sure you tweet at the show uh, at chesscom at te randall and myself at hong kong john 